Imagine you're on a holiday. Where are you? Most people would say you and your family are at the beach to relax. Now, you didn't exist a thousand years ago, but the beaches did. So, this raises the question, did many evil people go to the beach like we do? Well, firstly, let's talk about the totally legitimate distrust of the ocean, because that thing it scares me. Anyway, it's pretty clear that people in the medieval ages viewed the ocean as a dark, forbidding, and dangerous place. For example, a whale washed up on a Dutch beach in 1522, and Martin Luther believed it was a sign of the apocalypse. Many medieval stories of sea monsters eating giant chunks out of ship holes were common. The biblical story of Jonah being eaten by a very big fish was equated in Christian preaching to people going to hell. Well, okay. But what about the rivers? Well, it was all fun and games splashing around in the water, but going under? Don't do that. If you went under the water, you got sucked down into the mud and were eaten up by monsters. However, that didn't really stop people from having fun in the river if they really wanted to. Okay, but what about the beach? Well, the answer is yes, but actually no. Whilst during medieval times, going to the beach wasn't really a thing as you were too busy farming or, well, trying to simply stay alive. Plus, unless you lived close to the beach, it wasn't feasible to travel such a distance for just a day or fun at the beach like we do today. But if you did happen to stumble across the beach with your friends during the medieval times, you could definitely build some sandcastles and have some fun, as long as you didn't let the sea monsters eat you. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click here if you want to know why the United States was heavily anti-colonialism after World War II. Also, don't forget to join the Discord linked below.